This Saturday, the Pittsburgh Mandolin Orchestra will host an evening of mandolin music. The orchestra will open the evening, setting the stage for a world-class performance by our next guest here. All the way from Italy, the Carlo Ionzo Trio. We want to welcome Carlo Luciano Pupo on bass and Lorenzo Picconi. Did I say those right? Yes, I'm trying good. to add yes. my accent. I don't really have ready one. ready to come to Italy. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming on today. And you have traveled such a far way to get here. Right, yes. Yes, we come all over from, uh, from Italy. We are very, very happy to be here. There is a, a big mandolin tradition in Pittsburgh. Thankful to Charlie Rappaport that is uh, bringing this orchestra in the Saturday night, the show. We are looking forward very much. So in, across the world, as you guys travel, is this um, a tradition that still carries on in a lot of places? Oh, yes. It's a big trend uh, in the mandolin culture with its uh, the different shapes. So we have uh, an American kind of mandolin made by Gibson here. We still have the traditional mandolin. In Southern America, they have bandolin. So in many different cultures, there is the mandolin present and it's a big trend, it is a big fashion. And what is a mandolin anyways? What How is, is it described, I mean, the, the, the actual instrument? Yeah, this is uh, the Neapolitan mandolin and uh, has the same tuning of uh, the violin. It was invented uh, about uh, in the 1750s mm -hmm. as a, a plucked violin. Okay, and uh, then uh, it became a very, very popular in Italy, so everybody almost played the mandolin. Also our queen, first queen, the Queen Margherita, played the mandolin. And, and uh, the tradition uh, went all over the world because of the emigration. And so we have uh, mandolin ensembles, mandolin activities all over. Also Australia, Japan is a, is a big trend with the mandolin. And what is this that you're holding? This is a very strange uh, double bass, upstick bass that we brought from uh, our town, that is Savona in, in Italy. And uh, they made those uh, very fancy uh, collapsible uh, double basses. It's very interesting. I know what this is. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so where are some of the most unique places that you've traveled to to play? Oh, wow. You know, uh, well, we come very often to the United States. And uh, of course, we tra travel all over Europe. And uh, I have been to Japan because uh, there is a lot of interest in uh, our kind of music and uh, in the, in, on the mandolin especially. And uh, so, uh, we, well, what we did uh, very weird, we, we, we like to serenade, so we, may, you play, we play serenades also when we are on flights. Oh, you know? do you? <laughs> did you play one on your way over from Italy oh, this yeah, time around? Yeah, we like you know, to play <laughs> anytime. Hey, it's a long flight. You've got to entertain people, right? <laughs> right. Um, what are you going to play for us today? Oh, we are going to play for you a tarantella in a very strange form. So we made together, we made an experiment with uh, uh, some uh, modern music. Uh, so a tarantella that uh, we mix the tradition with uh, something strange okay. and new. Excited to hear it. Thank All you. Right. Take it away. Thank you.
Grazie mille. So much fun. Um, so tell me about the concert this Saturday. Yeah, so we will uh, uh, have uh, our own concert. We will join the Pittsburgh Mandolin Orchestra, the historical Pittsburgh Mandolin Orchestra. And uh, we will make a uh, journey through the mandolin music, so all over the world, it's, uh, focusing especially in uh, Italian uh, folk, but with uh, new influences, as you heard with this Tarantella. That's very beautiful. Now, will you be performing with the Pittsburgh Mandolin Orchestra or separately? Separately. They will uh, open the concert. We will uh, end uh, our concert. But, uh, of course, there will be surprises. So. <laughs> Some surprises. Okay. Yeah. Well, as, as this is a passion for all three of you, is it nice to hear other mandolin orchestras perform when you travel around the world? Yes. Actually, I grew up in a mandolin orchestra because my par parents uh, ran a mandolin orchestra, so I formed uh, my musicality in a mandolin orchestra. Wow. So this is like, you know, when I, I uh, meet uh, a mandolin orchestras around the world, this is like I feel at home because it's part of your family for your whole life. Exactly. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Well, we're so happy that you guys took some time to be here with us this morning. Really appreciate it. Was it was our pleasure. Thank beautiful you very much sounds. for having us. Thank you so much. And you can come hear more from the Carla Alonso. Say your last name again for me. Alonso. Alonso. Okay. <laughs> Trio presented by the Pittsburgh Mandolin Orchestra this Saturday night at the Greater Pittsburgh Masonic uh, or uh, Center. The orchestra plays first, followed by the trio starting at 7 o'clock. You can find out more about the concert and the Pittsburgh Mandolin Orchestra because because new members are always welcome. You can find that at kdka.com slash PTL.